Hello guys, today I want to tell you a fascinating story about eloquent optimization. This was posted by Dries Vince from the Core Laravel team and he was the original creator of Laravel IO and he posted this tweet with pull request merged which caused the CPU usage drop from almost 100% to just 1% and this is the screenshot from Nightwatch. So I was so curious what's inside. So I didn't only read the pull request and analyze it but also reproduced the issue locally because Laravel IO is open source and you can clone it down. And I will demonstrate the before and the after with one eloquent query with these results, improvement of 50x or more. And we will take a look at caching, at eloquent query, at Laravel telescope and SQL query under the hood. But before we do that, a reminder, today is the last day to take advantage of a promotion on Laravel daily until September 14th school 25 coupon code is automatically applied for 40% off yearly or lifetime membership to get all the courses on Laravel daily. The latest ones are about Filament 4 and PHP Storm Juni, but there's many more to come in the future. So the last day of that promotion. Now let's get back to this video. So let's start with the obvious thing and you already saw that on the screen. This is cache remember. And this is the part of that pull request that introduces cache remember. So these two queries were not cached and those were pretty heavy. At least one of them. I will show you this one under the hood in a minute. That query was executed. For example, on this page, tag Laravel and here on the bottom right, you see top authors. So it's not even a main query. It's kind of a sidebar query, but top aggregated query was pretty heavy. Let's take a look inside. So there's users most solutions in last day, which is a scope. And this was the fixed version, but I also reproduced the old version with the scope, which looks like this. So this is the scope with count, basically getting the users, getting the solutions count of threads and replies by those users and then ordering by that descending. Do you see anything wrong with that query? Personally, I didn't. This was kind of news to me as well. That's why I'm so passionate about shooting this video even on weekend. So this is a valid eloquent structure with count accepts builder query where you can add where you can add joins and that all works. It returns the correct results. If we took a look at the official Laravel docs for with count, it clearly says that you can add function, you can add where conditions, which means you can probably add anything to that query builder. You would think. But now look at the solution after. That was the before and this is the after. So there is no with count. Instead, there are two joins from user table and then doing the count here. Count distinct as solutions count and then the ending is the same. And you might think that the query under the hood is similar. And it is similar in terms of syntax, but totally not similar in terms of performance. Let's take a look. So I created artisan command to measure both. First, I did it with just micro time and calling old scope versus new scope and showing that time improvement. But also then I remembered that there's benchmark DD, which does almost the same thing. And I executed the same thing five times and you already saw the result, but let's repeat it again, just to make sure this time the improvement is 71 times. Benchmark DD sounds more like 40 times or something, but still. 100 milliseconds versus 2 milliseconds. Are you kidding me? And now let me show you why. So I have installed Laravel telescope in this project and we can compare the queries. So let me zoom that in. This is the query happening if you use with count. There's select user and then sub query for select count asterisk and then a few joins happening here. And here's the compared query without the with count with joins. So users joins and then count is happening here. So then I copy pasted those queries into SQL client and compared outside of Laravel. So this is with count query and it returns top five users. And by the way, locally I have seeded a few thousand users, fake users. So on live database, it would be probably even slower with many more users and threads and replies. But yeah, it returns the results successfully with solutions count two or one. And the time is 159 milliseconds. Similarly, how you would expect and how telescope showed it. Now compare that to second query without with count. We launch that and the time is just nine milliseconds. Somehow a bit slower than three or four or two milliseconds in the Laravel benchmark, but still very impressive, 
very different. So the actual reason is not laravel, is not eloquent, is not with count. The actual SQL queries are executed differently. And I'm not a database expert, but just by experimenting with commenting things out, I realized that this is the reason. So basically, if you have with count, you can do where, but join on top of that would execute join for each subquery, which is apparently very slow. So as an experiment, let's delete that inner join and delete those conditions. And let's launch that. 37 milliseconds, which is already a huge improvement, but still not ideal, which means even with count is quite slow with that subquery if you have a lot of data. So yeah, in this case, in this pull request, the improvement from with count to use join instead made a huge, huge difference. And of course, on top of that, there's caching. So one thing was cached instead of every 30 minutes every day. Think about it all the time. If you have some aggregated data on your dashboard or homepage or something, do you need it live or do you need it cached every hour or every day? It may also make a huge difference. So in these changes, cache time was longer. And in this case, cache was introduced. And again, you saw the difference in performance in the beginning of this video, and now it probably makes more sense why. And if you want more videos on Eloquent, I have a special course, Eloquent Expert Level, updated to Laravel 12 in video and text version and repositories, which includes actually performance topics like kilobytes optimizations for API, like detecting and preventing M plus one query, eager loading, and stuff like that. So I will link that course in the description below. And reminder, today is the last day, September number 14th to get 40% off yearly or lifetime membership on LaravelDaily.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.